Hi everybody and welcome to Travelling with Russell and welcome to a new video and welcome to Moscow region and welcome to a rainy day in Moscow. I finally got a chance to come to my local Chizik supermarket. It's actually right behind me in this building. Now Chizik right there, the yellow sign. Uh-huh. All right. <laughs> you like Chizik. <laughs> anyway, the point of coming here is everybody really liked the last couple of hard discount supermarkets that I went to and people recommend that I come to this one. Now I've actually been before to one but on the other side of Moscow this one is a 10 minute walk to my house. I can almost see my building just off in the distance a little bit but we braved the weather today to come so we're going to go and check it out. So the weather isn't the best today but we're going to head on inside and check it out. Now the one thing with Chizik it's open every day, 9 a.m. till 9 p.m., seven days a week. So let's go on inside. Now this is actually a fairly new store, uh, especially for the area where I live. This again is literally about a 10 minute walk from our house. So you're gonna see my wife, Jen here shopping. She came in just a little bit ahead of me to check it out. So. So the one thing with Chizik, there may be a lot of people comparing this to Lidl or Aldi. So if you can see that comparison, let me know in the comments. I think there's a lot of similarities in the design of the store and the layout. The one thing that is kind of interesting when you come on inside, okay, so all the uh, hand baskets are just down here. This is very normal in all stores in Russia, but it's essentially a one-way store now. This isn't a fence to kind of keep us away from everybody, but the idea is when you walk in, you kind of do the route around the store and come out to the checkout and end just over here where everybody's paying for their shopping. So uh, it's kind of a bit of a uh, Ikea style. They just need the arrows on the floor and we'd be all sorted. But uh, the front here, we see a few different promotions. Now, the one thing with Chizik which is a lot different to other hard discount stores or deep discount stores is essentially they don't have selected items on special. It's kind of a one price system, which is all the time pricing uh, where they've got certain items on the end caps like we just saw behind me. These are maybe uh, promotion or seasonal items and then everything else in the store. If you come today, if you come next week or last week, the prices are fixed. So there isn't a need to kind of wait till next Wednesday for the specials to come back. See Oreo cookies here. Now walking around, I'm not essentially gonna show specific pricing because that's really not the point of the video. I really wanna show this kind of deep discount, hard discount store so you can get an idea of what it's like. Now uh, Chizik, if you compare it to where I went to Svetfor, it has a similar kind of uh, business concept, but in this store, it's much tidier, much cleaner, much fresher. <laughs> the tiling is very nice. The lighting on the ceiling is very nice. They have a, a, a theme of their pricing. So one of the uh, things that's also noticeable with Chizik is the selection of products. Now, very typically, most things that they're selling they have only two brands. So if we look at, say for instance, the oil here, they've got one brand which is very well known in the stores throughout Russia. And then they've got one in-house brand, which is kind of a Chizik in-house brand, which really typically is made uh, under license by another major retailer or manufacturer in Russia anyway. So it's not a big difference in quality as such, but if you actually have a look here, even the in-house brand and the recognized brand are the same price. So is it really a factor? Now the one thing with their fruit and vegetables too, they only have basically a box or two of each. They get things delivered daily. They get a load in every morning or overnight, depending on the time of the delivery. And that way then they're not really having any spoiled fruits and vegetables because whatever they get today, they sell today by the end of the day and then tomorrow there's another box coming. There's a little bit here of healthy options. If you like muesli bars and crackers, 
Here is some uh, cereals, so porridge and oats, some baby foods. So you can pretty much probably recognize most things as I'm walking around the store. They have a little bit of a refrigerator section with the meats. And then over here, the yogurts. So where people have been to Chizik before, a lot of people will slowly get used to this concept of this kind of two brand shopping. So, you know, the recognized brand, then they've got the in-house brand. Uh, and then where that difference of price lies, that's up to you then if you kind of prefer one over the other. They look like they just got their delivery this morning. I am here in the morning time here today. This is Wednesday morning in Moscow. Not the best weather outside, <laughs> raining. Hopefully it's not raining all day. And the milk. And the other thing too, they don't tend to overstock the shop either. So there isn't kind of shelves and shelves of things. They again, they get the delivery, they sell through it and tomorrow the delivery comes again. All of the other uh, dairy products here, so some cheeses, butters. And then there's some uh, fish products here, the famous Russian breakfast, the crab sticks. I think there isn't a Russian person ever watching these videos that hasn't had crab sticks for breakfast at some point. Nice choice of salamis and hams. So the whole idea when you come here is it's not intended to be a big supermarket, although this is actually a very big store in terms of a local shop or a close to home store. My wife's filling that basket up. I've got to carry it home on the <laughs> walk home with it. So hopefully she doesn't <laughs> choose too many things. But the idea is with this kind of two product choice, you can get around the store fairly quickly. You're not kind of looking at a whole aisle of a certain product. You know, you're kind of in and out nice and quickly. This is kind of interesting. Now, if you might have seen my other Chizik video where I actually worked in the store for the day, this is one thing that was I brought up to the, to the guy from the store. So we probably all know Whiskers cat food. That's very, very well known. Now, Watson is their in-house brand now my question was, why is it called Watson? We're in Russia, it should be a, some kind of a Russian brand or name. And he said that in Russia, a lot of people put their faith in Western brands or Western goods. So having Watson like Dr. Watson or whoever, John Watson or whoever the Watson person is, it's recognized as a Western brand because it's got an English spelt name. The same with the dog food here, pedigree, and then Watson. And then if you have a look at the price difference, 12 rubles versus 19 rubles. Now roughly 80 rubles is one US dollar right now. So pet food is very cheap. Obviously they're single serve kind of versions, but um, it's very, very reasonably priced in here. Again, there's no promotions like a daily or a weekly one they'll have seasonal items but not necessarily anything that's a a markdown this week like a lot of stores do i think everywhere in the world has that right you go to a store you'll see here also with the shampoos there's only a couple of different choices again if you want more choices of products you'd obviously go to a bigger supermarket with with more options right but if it's about the pricing and the you know the simplicity of the store you'd come here to Chizik. So if you haven't watched it already, uh, back in winter or uh, earlier in the year, I did actually spend a day working at a Chizik store and I was invited along because of a lot of the videos that I make in the supermarkets to come and experience what it's like to work in the store and what their processes are. I'll put a link to that right here so you can watch that maybe after this one. And you can actually have a look at the difference of the store that I went to versus my local one right here. So the other concept of Chizik is this packaging on the shelves. It's what's called shelf ready packaging. This is the term used in retail. So the actual manufacturers or the companies that produce the products will actually make the shelf, uh, the boxes specifically for the shelves in Chizik. So the companies will know the exact size of the shelf. So the exact depth of the shelf right here, you can see oh, it's a bit hard in the gap here. 
but there's two boxes that fit exactly to the edge of the shelf and the quantity in that box is designed to basically fit exactly on the shelf so the staff member will come along like we see here this gentleman he'll cut open the packaging and put it right on the shelf and you'll see here even with the drinks they're uh, measured right to the back of the shelf exactly the depth of the products now that's actually in absolutely intentional whereas if you go to a, a kind of a normal standard supermarket sorry you'll uh, find that you'll have to unpack them you'll have to sort of stack them on the shelves and it takes time it takes a lot of energy it takes a lot of staff to do that but this is the intention the shelf ready packaging now because i did come here fairly early today their load must have just arrived fairly recently uh, right kind of as the store opened all the staff are unpacking all the pallets uh, the other thing which they have which is very Aldi and Lidl like is this kind of variety section in the middle where they've got this kind of uh, selection of products which tends to be uh, a little bit all over the place at the moment it's all looks like kids stuff there's even a playhouse for the kids some books on the other side there's a little bit of stuff for your house there's extension cords uh, it's a really mixture of items the famous uh, Chinese crocs as my wife's looking at me over here looks like she's got the basket almost full you want to wave Jen <laughs> so yeah this is very much Aldi and Lidl like this uh, um, promotional island in the middle here and the one thing that's very noticeable with the soft drinks or cool drinks sodas pops whatever the word is you use there definitely isn't any brand name drinks here so there's just fun up cola uh, lemon lime and fun up orange they do look a little bit coca-cola like products but these are definitely the in-house versions of of the different cool drinks and very cheap too two liters uh, for 59 rubles so 70 or 80 cents so even on this top shelf here you'll see this uh, shorter shelf size and then the packaging again is absolutely designed for the size of the shelf right to the millimeter or centimeter so where you'd maybe get six in a box they've got eight in a box in this packaging or ten in a box intentionally so that the uh, store staff here can literally just tear open the box put it on the shelf and good to go for the rest of the and then again we'll see all of the stock here so all of these different packagings american uh what are these biscuits or chips i think <laughs> it's interesting to see american right on the side uh literally they tear open the cellophane on the pallet and then that box can drop right onto the shelf and the other idea too with the stocking of the shop they're only buying or ordering in that reasonable amount that will sort of go right on the shelf and they do seem to have a few different bulk kind of pallet selections as well of things here's the box of eggs so there's 10 in a box these are c1 which is the standard eggs and only 59 rubles for a box of eggs so in russia the eggs come in a box of 10 a lot of places in the world they tend to be 12s but 59 rubles you can't beat it and again their promotional island over here when i first walked in i was like where is everything but the staff member said there they've just got some of the deliveries to fill this up so over here all the different toilet rolls so again these are pretty much the in-house brands taffo so most things or all the things that are produced for chizik in the in-house brand selection are actually from russian producers anyway you just have to kind of well you would never really know who they are because it's you know it's intentionally packaged for chizik so here we see there world's smallest canned food section i think in russia peas and corn and that's it <laughs> that's all you get i don't see olives olives is the usual other thing here they are actually there's even some canned mushrooms or champignons right there there's the olives 
Look at that, they're even Spanish olives as well. There's a little bit of the canned fish here and the kind of the sprats. I think sprats is the right word. I tend to get this one mixed up. We actually have this in Australia. It's interesting, you can actually buy the Russian branded products in Australia in some of the stores. Let's see what else they've got here. This seems to be a little bit of a promotional island, so where they've got maybe a seasonal item, they put them, uh, there is a markdown item. What's going on? The only one I've seen in the store. Looks like Prosecco of some kind, or a almost French Champagne. My wife's, uh, the longer I film, the more she fills up the basket. And here close to the entrance of the store, they've got a small beer selection. They have Baltica, which is pretty well known. Uh, beer in Russia, 52 rubles for a can of beer. What's that? Not even 60, 70 cents. So again, I mentioned this in quite a few videos, you buy your beer individually in Russia. So you buy it by the bottle or by the can. I um, mean, occasionally someone will buy a whole case of it, but you just buy a few cans, good for the fridge. And again, you can see here how that intentional size of the shelf, where everything just slots right on the shelf. Uh, even, even somebody who's got first day working training First day working training, would know what to do. The king of beers. Budweiser is even up there as well. And then, so the wine and alcohol section here again isn't large. This is not intentional uh, that they uh, don't have a whole store of it. You know, again, it's just that simple selection, a few choices of white wines, red wines, and you're kind of done with your choices. And then, there's even some spirits over here. What do we have? We've got some uh, gin, vodka, and I think, oh, Scottish bird. Blended Scotch whiskey, product of Scotland. So Scotch whiskey is still reaching Russia and my local regional Chizik. Yeah, there's uh, not a lot of uh, alcohols, but there's enough choices. As my wife eyes off a Bottle of wine, I think. Now I did realize coming here early in the morning, it wasn't gonna be busy, busy, like some of the supermarkets that I film are, but in the roughly an hour I've been here, you know, there's plenty of people kind of walking in, walking out. I'd imagine a lot of people that live nearby literally just walk here. There's a few cars in the car park as well. There is plenty of housing around. I mean, again, for me to get here, it's 10 minute walk exactly from my house. So. Very nice that it's so close. So I've just kind of realized why this fence is here. Now, it's so my wife can't do one more lap around the store. You know, you basically do your one lap, you find all your items, and then you're kind of directed to the checkout here. Let's see what she chose. Oh, she got some of the olives, some yogurts, some candies, and some chips. So. Just the usual basic things. And we're gonna pay and get out of here. Okay, so as I head on out of the store now, I uh, hope you like this video of my local Chizik. Now the Chizik actual uh, word means little bird. As the rain keeps coming down, we're gonna have to brave that 10 minute walk home. Thank you everybody for watching this video. I really wanted to come to this store for a really long time and imagine it's my local shop, literally walking distance from my house. Uh, there's Chizik all over Russia, by the way. This is not just a one-off shop. It's actually a big chain of hard discount supermarkets. Uh, I hope you found that interesting. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. Would you compare it to Aldi and Lidl? Now, depending on where you live in the world, you probably know those two brands. So let me know if you can see that kind of likeness of the brand Aldi and Lidl to Chizik. Uh, I'm going to go and get back under the uh, shelter of the building. I put another video for you to watch. If you want to check out the video of me working in a Chizik for the day, I'll put that card for you right now to watch and click after this one. You might find that super interesting. Uh, my day work, uh, working in a Chizik. 
uh, actually on the other side of Moscow, about two hours away from here. If only I could have worked in the one right behind me, it would have been much nicer, but... All right, I'm off on another adventure. Bye, everybody. <laughs>